me. For me. For me, it was a frigid night in Boston in 1985. In the criminal court, in the integrated domestic violence part. It was when I aged out of the street work program as a client. I was listening to a survivor whose hand had just been broken by her boyfriend. And she was talking to me on a payphone, feeding quarters into the phone while we were working together to find a safe place for her to go that night. I already knew I wanted to work with the homeless youth, so I applied for Safe Horizon. Now I work with the same program that helped me when I was young. After I served him with the papers, he threatened me. That was the turning point. That was the turning point. I was advocating for one of my clients with the NYPD. In a session with the two and a half year old boy who witnessed the homicide of his mother and two siblings. I was with a 15 year old young man who was facing felony assault charges for defending himself and his mother from an abusive father. It was a family court 10 years ago. That moment, I realized that through the job that I'm doing here at Safe Horizon, I can help the voices of my clients. We were using specific toys to help him to process his trauma. And after playing for a while, he hugged my legs and smiled. And that's when I knew that working with survivors was what I was supposed to be doing. I realized that the research career path that I was on, while important, could not help that young man in that moment. That's when I realized I wanted to work directly with children and families. Just being there to support and listen to a client who was about to face her abuser in court. This is what I'm meant to do. My purpose. My calling. I wanted to work on policy issues and help dismantle the barriers preventing survivors from finding safety and healing. Working in child advocacy, I was constantly blown away by the care and compassion that Safe Horizon staff showed to every single client that walked through the doors. When I found out that Safe Horizon literally touches hundreds of thousands of people's lives every year, I was on board. That was the moment. That's when I decided to dedicate my life to supporting survivors. When I knew I had found my calling. That was my Safe Horizon moment.